the weather in some form or fashion will throw a wrench, wrench into those plans. Uh, the Big Miracles Christmas Parade, still scheduled to go on as planned Saturday, but KMAX Page Peroso found that parade organizers are going to keep an eye on the roads tomorrow, right? Yeah, Brian, well, I can confirm for you right now, it's pretty awful outside. It's cold and it's raining, but as you said, this parade organizers trying to keep a positive mindset. For the 14 years that this parade's been a Lubbock tradition, they've only had to cancel it once due to weather, and they're hoping tomorrow does not become the second. It might be a cold night tomorrow on 34th Street, but for now, the annual Christmas parade will go on as planned. We've had people call us, are you canceling the parade? I'm like, this is not a July 4th parade, this is a Christmas parade. Bring your coat, bring your gloves. Those questions about the parade being asked after the forecast is calling for ice and snow. And I said, it actually, we're kind of excited that maybe a light dusting of snow, you know, Santa loves snow. Jason Davis, chairman of the parade, says although they don't think they will cancel the parade, the final decision will be made tomorrow at noon. We're not going to have the parade if it's a safety factor, but I mean, a little snow hasn't ever hurt anybody. He says the parade isn't just about celebrating the holiday, but also promoting local business. We always try to, like, you know, just put the word out that it's local and, like, so I think it's awesome that they do the parade on 34th Street. Lots of local shops help line the parade route path. You know, it's going to be cold outside or whatever while you're waiting for the parade, and then come in and grab something to eat, you know, and stay warm. It's going to be cold, so. And hope to see everyone tomorrow, even if it's a little snowy. Yeah, and right again, right now the parade is scheduled to go on as planned. It starts at 6. They say if you want a good seat to get here before 5. For now, reporting on 34th Street, I'm Paige Peroso, KMAG News. All right, Paige, thank you.